Hello everyone, my name is Amira Adil. Today, I'll tell you a real terrifying story that happened to a famous Kuwaiti singer named Noura. And this story caused her to retire from art along with her band. The artist Noura had a large audience from the entire Arab world. And she was the most famous artist in the 90s. The story begins with a phone call to the famous singer. Singer Noura replied, Hello, who are you? And the caller was saying, I am the mother of a bride and I want you and your band to come today to celebrate my daughter's wedding. Singer Nora said, Today is impossible. Today is my pants holiday. I apologize. I can't come today. The mother of the bride insisted on the singer Nora. So the singer Nora had to agree, and she said, I'll come for your daughter. At what time will the wedding be? The mother of the bride said, The wedding will be at 10 in the evening. Singer Nora said, Okay, my band and I will be there at 9 o'clock. Singer Nora says, On my way to the wedding, I felt that I was afraid of this party and that she regretted that she had agreed to go. When she arrived at the wedding, she was surprised that she was in front of a huge palace consisting of three floors. And she said that she had never seen such a number of invitees in any previous wedding. It was clear to her that the bride's family was very wealthy. Now when she entered the palace, they were received by the mother and father of the bride. Singer Nora said that the mother of the bride was wearing a black dress and her face was pale. And when she greeted her, she found her hand hard. And when she kissed her cheeks, and this is normal in Arabic countries when you greet someone, she found her cheeks spiky and so cold. But she decided to ignore everything. Singer Nora said to the mother of the bride, we want a private dressing room. The mother of the bride said to her, the room is ready, come with me. Singer Nora and her band entered the room. Minutes later, the door was knocked. And when she opened the door, she found the girls who came to greet her and her band. After the girls left the room, one of the band members Shams said, when I greeted the girls, I felt that her hands were hard, not like the hands of normal humans, and I felt very hot all over my body. The singer Nora said to her, you are just a delusional, you are nervous because you wanted a vacation today. Singer Nora was reassuring her band, but she was really worried and didn't want to worry the rest of the band because she felt she was responsible for their safety. After the singer Nora and her band finished changing their clothes, they headed to the wedding hall at exactly 10 o'clock in the evening. There they were surprised. They saw the groom and the bride for the first time, and their appearance was strange. The groom was wearing old-fashioned clothes and didn't wear a suit like the well-known groom's suit. The bride was wearing a black dress with white dots and studded with jewels and diamonds, although it's known that the bride wears a white dress. The bride and groom were sitting without moving, without smiling, and without talking, like statues. Singer Nora and the music group performed their first song, and the invitees applauded happily. Then they went to their room again, and here Nora felt dizzy, and that she was tired and wanted to rest on a bed. She found that her dressing room was noisy, so she headed toward the wedding hall and searched there and found a staircase that leads to the second floor and when she reached the second floor she was surprised as the second floor was completely abandoned and filled with dust 
and all the rooms were closed except for one room. When she entered the room, she found an old bed, and the mattress was worn and full of dust. But she was completely tired and unable to stand, so she slept on it. Singer Nora had a terrible nightmare when she slept in the abandoned room. She saw in a dream a huge woman in a black dress running behind her, and she woke up frightened and found the room door was closed even though it was open. She got up and tried to open it, but she couldn't. So she knocked on the door hard and screamed until someone heard her and opened the door for her, but no one heard her. After five minutes, she tried to open the door, and this time the door opened and found the same woman who dreamed of standing in front of her. Singer Nora was terrified and thought she was dreaming. She closed her eyes and opened them again and found the woman had disappeared. Singer Nora looked at the road in front of her and found a little boy smiling at her. It seemed that he had gone up the stairs behind her. She saw the child gone up to the third floor, so she went up behind him and found the third floor deserted and also destroyed like the second floor. Singer Nora heard the child's laughter but didn't see him. She found all the rooms closed except for one room, so she headed towards it and found the child inside the room. Suddenly, the door was closed. Singer Nora was afraid that the child will remain locked inside the room. She decided to tell one of the palace owners until the child came out, and when she turned around, she felt someone grab her leg, and that she couldn't walk, and said to her, Sing. Singer Nora asked him, Who are you? He said, I'm a fan of you, and I like your songs. Sing. Sing. She said to him, I'm afraid. He told her, don't be afraid, I'm a loyal friend. When he left her leg, Nora ran quickly toward the stairs. And she went down to the ground floor and headed toward the dressing room. She found Shams crying and the rest of the band trying to calm her down. The singer Nora asked her, what's the matter Shams? Shams asked, where were you Nora? Everyone in the party asked about you. So, I went to look for you in the second floor, and I found it very scary. And I found drunks of scary faces on the walls. I found all the rooms closed except for one. When I entered the room, the door closed and suddenly appeared out of nowhere a large black body. And it was the body of a person, but I don't see his features. Suddenly, I saw his eyes. They were like cat eyes. And when I looked at him, I felt like I was walking towards him involuntarily, as if he was dragging me towards him. I became very close to him, and I could feel his breath on my face, and his smell was very disgusting, but his face was without features, and his eyes were scary. Then I closed my eyes because I was very afraid, and he said to me, Sing! Your voice is beautiful. I want you to sing. I felt very scared and cried. Then he screamed at me and slapped me in the face. When he slapped me in the face, I felt like I could walk. So I quickly ran to the door and went down to the stairs. I found someone on the stairs telling me, Why did you go up to this floor? I told him I was looking for Nora. So he shouted at me and told me to go down to the ground floor and don't go up to this floor again. Nora told her it was my fault that I brought you here, but we must think about how to get out without the owners of the palace not seeing us. Nora said we have to bear it. There are only a few hours left. We must finish our songs quickly and leave here. The singing group managed to calm down a little, change their clothes, and prepare for the second song. And when they entered the wedding hall, they noticed that the number of people had increased a lot. 
And when they started singing, everyone in the hall applauded and was happy and making loud noises. The laughter and the noise of the guests were louder than the sound of the musical instruments. After a period of singing, a group of girls invited to the party danced in an unnatural way. So Nora and her band noticed that the legs of the guests weren't like the legs of human beings, but rather the legs of animals that resemble the legs of cattle. When Shams noticed the invites who were not human beings, she fainted fear but Nora tried to appear natural and not to show her fear to anyone so that the owners of the palace and the invites wouldn't know that they had discovered their inhuman truth. A lady said to Nora, Look, Shams was fainted. Nora said to her, No, no, she is a little tired and I'll take her to rest in the room for a while after finishing the song. After finishing the second song, Nora and her band took Shams to their room and tried to wake her up. After Shams woke up from the fainting, she said to Nora, Did I not tell you that this palace is cursed? We must leave this palace immediately. I know that they won't let us go. Nora asked, who are they? Sham said they are not human beings. Yes, we came to celebrate a wedding for the Jinn. They are demons. And if they feel like we know who they are, they will definitely hurt us. Singer Nora said, It's now 2 in the morning. It's about 2 hours until sunrise. We have to wait 2 hours. And when the sun rises, everything will be over. Sham said, I can't wait. I'm scared. Nora said, we have to calm down so they don't feel that we are afraid of them. We should also do the last song so they don't feel like we know who they are. Sham said, I'll not be able to sing. Nora said, don't sing or play. Just sit with us and look at the ground. Singer Nora ordered the singing group not to look at the invites and to look at the ground so that they wouldn't panic. Singer Nora and the band went out to the wedding hall to sing their last song. They started playing and they were very afraid and they were trying not to look at the invites. They noticed that the number of invites increased every once in a while. When the singing and music get louder, the number of invites increases more and more. In the midst of singing and playing, one of the invited guests took off her hair and threw it on the ground. And when they looked at the hair lying on the ground, they found it full of blood. Here, Shams fainted again. A group of invited guests surrounded the singing group and were holding strange instruments, playing them and singing very loudly. In the midst of this terrifying scene, the whole group was praying to God to escape and get out of this palace full of gin. Here, all the jinn appeared with their real terrifying faces and the electricity went off the whole palace. It was complete silence. Nora and the band kept crying and praying to God for deliverance. Suddenly the rays of the sun appeared and the singing and the noise fell silent. All the jinn remained in their place, don't move. Here. Singer Nora ordered her band to leave the musical instruments and run away quickly. Indeed, they managed to escape and get out of the palace. On the way outside the palace, they saw a man coming their way. So, they asked him for help. They asked him to look for a car to take them out of this place. So, the man was surprised and asked them, What brought you to this deserted place? They told him that they were a singing group that came to celebrate a wedding in this palace. And when they pointed to the palace and looked at it, they found it deserted. All the lights disappeared from it. They found its door and all the windows were broken. The man asked her, How were you inside this palace? This palace has been deserted for ten years and full of jinn and demons. All the people in this area know this and afraid to approach it. Singer Nora said to him, Look, we are so tired and exhausted that we can't speak. Please, find us a car to take us home. 
Indeed, they found a car and were able to reach their homes. Since that day, singer Nora and her band have retired from singing, and this event was in 1997. If you like the story, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And tell me in the comments if you like these stories and believe in the existence of the jinn and demons. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.